This is a relocated school moved from its former site at Tongyi County with an average altitude of 4,900 meters to the north bank of the Yalong Zambo River at an altitude of 3,600 meters. Tenzin Chogya has been working at Songyi County, China's highest county, for nearly 20 years. In late 2019, the construction of the new school was completed. The school now is well equipped with a canteen and new buildings. According to the white paper titled Tibet since 1951, Liberation, Development and Prosperity, the Chinese central government poured about 224 billion yuan or about 35 billion US dollars between 1951 and 2020 into Tibet's education. The region now has over 3,000 schools of various types. The completion rate for compulsory education has reached 95%. A new entrance to the region's workforce now have an average of 13.1 years of education. In 2019, Mang Sedan moved to this nursing center. This nursing center is established for receiving elderly monks and nuns from temples above 4,000 meter high altitude. China has invested over 3 billion yuan or about 464 million US dollars in establishing 80 centralized nursing centers in Tibet. As the end of 2021, the average life expectancy in Tibet rose to 72.19 years from 35.5 years in the 1950s. After the 1959 democratic reforms in Tibet, Guo Chaoren, a journalist with Xinhua News Agency, went to Damzui village. Guo visited La Wang's home to celebrate the family's first ever harvest since the democratic reform. 63 years later, Dorje, La Wang's youngest son, moved to a brand new apartment with his family amid the country's strive to renovate shanty towns. <laughs> That's the